The U.S. and China are shocked over new Japanese $225 million aircraft. Imagine a fighter jet that combines power, performance, and precision to become an extraordinary force in the skies. The YF-23 is more than just an aircraft. It's an aviation marvel that's redefined what's possible. With supersonic speeds and stealth technology that rendered it invisible under enemy radar, this jet was the result of years of innovation. Now, Japan is ready to invest heavily in this aircraft. Japan has shown strong interest in joining forces with other nations, including Lockheed Martin, to produce a formidable fighter jet. Lockheed Martin proposed combining elements from the F-22 Raptor and the new F-35 with the Northrop YF-23 Black Widow II. Back in the day, the Soviet Union's new jets, the Su-27 Flanker and the MiG-29 Fulcrum, posed significant challenges for the United States. The only stealth fighter the U.S. had was the F-117 Nighthawk, which excelled at hiding on radar but lacked the speed and dogfighting capabilities. The Advanced Tactical Fighter Program aimed to create a jet that was not only stealthy, but also fast and agile. In 1991, the competition between Lockheed Martin and Northrop began to develop prototypes of their proposed fighter jets. Lockheed's aircraft was the YF-22, while Northrop presented the YF-23. Both companies had experience in building stealth aircraft, with Lockheed having developed the F-117 Nighthawk and Northrop the B-2 Spirit. While the YF-22 was beautifully designed, the YF-23's distinctive diamond-shaped wings and thin side profile, reminiscent of the SR-71 Blackhawk, gave it a futuristic appearance. The YF-23 also featured two massive tail fins that could move in all directions, aiding its maneuverability. One of the most fascinating aspects of the YF-23 was its advanced propulsion system. The YF-23 utilized a pair of General Electric YF-120 engines, which were a significant technological leap forward in jet engine design. These engines were not just powerful, they were uniquely capable of switching modes to optimize performance for different flight conditions. This adaptive capability allowed the YF-23 to excel in both high-speed flight and more fuel-efficient cruise modes. In contrast, the YF-22 was equipped with the Pratt & Whitney YF-119 engines that, while effective, did not offer the same level of adaptability. The innovative design of the YF-120 engines meant that the YF-23 could achieve and maintain supersonic speeds for extended periods without resorting to afterburners, a state known as supercruise. The YF-23 could reach a maximum speed of Mach 2.2, approximately 1,450 miles per hour at high altitudes. It could maintain a supercruise speed of Mach 1.6 to Mach 1.8, or about 1,200 miles per hour without the afterburners. This capability was a game changer, as it allowed the aircraft to fly faster while using less fuel, thereby extending its operational range and endurance. The YF-23 could perform long-range missions with greater efficiency a crucial advantage in both combat and reconnaissance roles. In addition to its remarkable engines, the YF-23 was designed with stealth in mind. The aircraft's engines were buried deep within the fuselage, and the exhausts were shielded to minimize the infrared signature, making it harder for enemy missiles to lock on. The nozzles were designed with heat-absorbing tiles to reduce the heat signature further. This design also reduced the radar cross-section enhancing the jet's stealth capabilities. The YF-23's unique diamond-shaped wings and V-tail configuration contributed to its low radar observability. Despite the YF-23's impressive performance, the decision to select the YF-22 over the YF-23 came down to several critical factors. One of the primary reasons was the YF-22's superior maneuverability. The YF-22 featured thrust vectoring nozzles, allowing it to execute sharp turns and agile maneuvers at low speeds, which impressed the evaluation team, predominantly composed of experienced fighter pilots who valued dogfighting capabilities. Lockheed's effective presentation and demonstration of these capabilities played a significant role in swaying the decision in their favor. Cost considerations were also significant. 
Although both aircraft were expensive, the YF-23 was rumored to be more costly to produce and maintain. This higher than anticipated cost was a substantial factor in the final decision, as the budget constraints and long-term sustainability of the program were paramount concerns. Additionally, the perceived maintainability of the YF-22 was better, which could lead to lower operational costs over the aircraft's lifetime. Another critical factor was Northrop's past performance, particularly their experience with the B-2 bomber project, which had faced significant delays and cost overruns. This history led some decision makers to question Northrop's ability to effectively manage another complex and high-stakes project. There were concerns about whether Northrop could deliver the YF-23 on time and within budget, given their previous track record. Furthermore, political and strategic considerations also played a role. There were rumors that the contract was awarded to Lockheed partly to keep the company financially viable, ensuring that one of the United States' leading aerospace manufacturers remained robust and capable of undertaking future defense projects. Fast forward to today, and the U.S. Air Force is once again at the forefront of developing advanced stealth fighters, this time focusing on long-range strike capabilities. The new designs bear a striking resemblance to the YF-23, suggesting that the innovative features of this once-rejected prototype are being reconsidered for modern requirements. This resurgence in interest highlights the enduring significance of the YF-23's advanced design and performance characteristics. Japan, keen on enhancing its defense capabilities amid regional tensions, has shown a strong interest in advanced stealth technology. This interest has led Japan to collaborate closely with Northrop Grumman, the original developer of the YF-23. This collaboration aims to revive and update the YF-23's capabilities to meet contemporary defense needs. Key updates include improving the aircraft's stealth coating and avionic systems. The original stealth coating, while effective, was prohibitively expensive. Modern advancements have allowed for the development of more cost-effective and eco-friendly stealth materials making the updated YF-23 more affordable for widespread use. Additionally, the avionic systems are being upgraded to incorporate the latest technology, providing superior situational awareness, targeting precision, and electronic warfare capabilities. By integrating these modern enhancements, Japan and Northrop Grumman are poised to create a formidable stealth fighter that leverages the groundbreaking designs of the YF-23 while addressing the economic and technological demands of the present day. This collaboration signifies a significant step forward in Japan's defense strategy, ensuring they remain equipped with cutting-edge technology to safeguard their airspace. One intriguing feature of the YF-23 is its tail section, which includes two massive fins capable of moving in any direction. This design, known as a V-tail, allows for superior maneuverability, the pilot's seat offers an excellent view, and the aircraft's weapons are neatly tucked away, maintaining its stealth profile. Inside the cockpit, advanced controls and a central computer system ensure precise handling and performance. The YF-23 featured two internal weapons bays capable of carrying a variety of air-to-air -air missiles, such as the AIM-120 AMRAAM and AIM-9 Sidewinder. This internal carriage allowed the YF-23 to maintain a sleek, undetectable profile, as external weapons pylons would have increased its radar cross-section. The ability to refuel mid-air added another layer of strategic flexibility. This capability ensured that the YF-23 could undertake prolonged missions without the need to land, further extending its operational range and time on target. The YF-23 had an estimated combat radius of approximately 800 to 1,000 nautical miles, depending on the mission profile, and a ferry range of over 2,400 nautical miles. Despite lacking the thrust vectoring nozzles of its competitor, the YF-23's performance in various tests was exceptional. It demonstrated superior speed, maneuverability, and agility at both low and high speeds. The aircraft could perform high angles of attack and rapid directional changes, making it a formidable adversary in dogfights. Japan's involvement in developing its next-generation stealth fighter, potentially leveraging the advanced design of the YF-23, marks a significant strategic move in their defense policy. This initiative is driven by the increasing geopolitical tensions in the Asia-Pacific region, 
particularly with the rising military capabilities of neighboring countries like China and North Korea. Japan's decision to collaborate with Northrop Grumman and other international partners reflects a clear intention to stay ahead in the technological race and ensure their Air Force is equipped with the most advanced aircraft. Building on the YF-23's proven design, Japan aims to achieve an optimal balance of stealth, speed, and agility. The YF-23's unique features, such as its diamond-shaped wings and advanced stealth capabilities, provide a solid foundation for developing a fighter jet that can evade radar detection and outperform potential adversaries in both speed and maneuverability. The stealth technology will be crucial in ensuring that the aircraft remains undetected during missions, while its speed and agility will provide the necessary edge in combat situations. The collaboration aims to incorporate the latest advancements in avionics and material science, ensuring that the new aircraft will not only be stealthier, but also more cost-effective and environmentally friendly. Japan's focus on affordability and sustainability highlights their commitment to creating a modern air force that can maintain operational readiness without imposing excessive financial or environmental burdens. This strategic move underscores Japan's proactive approach to national defense, ensuring they are prepared to counter any threats and maintain stability in the region. By investing in cutting-edge technology and international partnerships, Japan is positioning itself as a formidable player in the global defense landscape. As Japan looks to modernize its air force with cutting-edge technology, the YF-23's legacy continues to influence the future of aerial combat. So, what do you think about Japan's decision to invest in the YF-23's technology? Do you believe it will shift the balance of power in the region? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.